An override we trust. Reactor <coughs> online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Override engaged. <coughs> Let's just keep an eye on our base and uh, have some good comms. Don't go chasing squirrels. Please. Squirrel! 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 Waterfalls. I had a match a couple days ago where eight of the members of our team being in the match went after one uh, Arctic cheetah. What bad could happen? Can you guess if we won or lost that match? Well, clearly you must have won. Die! Otherwise you wouldn't be here to be telling us about it. So what you're saying is we should all run after that kit box. Excellent. And then we win yeah. the game. New target yeah. acquired. Oh, he's got a friend. Get that motherfucker. And his friend doesn't like my shotguns, aka ATMs. I have a shotgun. It's too eight like Get Charlie, get that motherfucker. He's one shot. Target destroyed. Target spotted. I can get him. I don't think they've seen this oh, UAV. Oh, it's fire. Stone Rhino is really pretty good. Ocean boat. Ocean boat. Target spotted. Box is running for the hills. Is he running for his life? Yeah, he's gonna die tired though. Target spotted. And the Iron Maiden joke is lost. Need assistance. <laughs> Now it's what my friend said about uh, the guy that dates his daughter. We literally gave them their base, like gave them our base, like we gave them theirs. Yeah, pretty much. They're gonna go for our base. Target spotted. Target acquired. We think we need to go for it. Atlas is coming our way towards Charlie 4. He's got a lot of internal damage. Target spotted. Acquired. Target spotted. I called it. Uh, let me check. Can you enter our base and tag that mother hammer? <clears throat> nice kill. Can do. Can get the guy in Charlie 3. Uh, Indigo's uh, right towards us open. Base is being they have us completely flanked over here, Charlie 5. Bobby. Target spotted. Call the fire power. One target at a time. Target Indigo's port. Yellow. Destroyed. Weapons destroyed. 
destroyed. SR. Oh, the light going. Going. Bravo 5. Alpha's uh, ready to drop. More than one hit, though. We have watch, a mech behind us, uh, Echo Bravo 5. Bravo 5. Go, 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 go. Target spotted. Target acquired. Target spotted. Sorry, it's under 6. I'm dead. Kilo and Hotel, I think. Both are CT. Get Foxtrot. Glass on him. <laughs> Lots more on our base. Fast runners, get moving. Just running. Out. Right arm destroyed. Yeah, that's that's LED evil. That's my that's my number. Auto cannon destroyed. PPC destroyed. Small laser destroyed. Go down, go down the Charlie five, the five and four line. Let's get in there. That light is still model five. Ignore yeah, him. That's uh, that Juliet. Target acquired. Somebody needs to run for the base. Target destroyed. Yeah, we got guys on the way to our base. We only got two left. left. Don't run for the yeah. base. Just methodically get over there. If I'm right about one of them, it's either that T Wolf or it's a fucking. Just all that. It's all that fucked off. All right. Awesome with binaries. But I think we just killed that guy. He's still on the base. Our base is still being captured. That's the last enemy. Okay, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm about, to on it. about to get sight on it. Target spotted. Target acquired. It's a kit box. It's He's that goddamn kit box that we should have killed at the like. beginning. Right leg, his right leg, his right leg. Kill him. Target destroyed. There oh, you go. <laughs> Great job, everyone. A lot of impressive numbers on both sides there. <coughs> so that was a lot of fun, and that was a great match. Lots of good com comms, and uh, great comms equals great matches. Whether you win or lose, communication wins most often. Let's take a look at this. So this is what I refer to as the ex-wife. I have a couple of different ex-wives, but this is the original. This is the original ex-wife. And this is how this thing is laid out. Pretty. Made a nice chalk outline on the ground, too. <clears throat> so let's look at the meat and potatoes here. So this mech is capable of nine missile points. And... Um, I've got this thing set up with, what do we got here? One, two, three, six ATM-3s, and then two um, SRM-4s. I've cr tried a couple different variations, and this is what's really stood out. So I'm not using the one in the center torso here. And it came down to kind of like a symmetry kind of thing. But I also wanted to have most of my um, uh, we uh, weapons ammo uh, in places that are hard to destroy. And this is the way it worked out. That was the best. So if I lose a left or right torso, I'm not losing um, the majority of my ammo. So anyway, so I have a heat management of 1.27. I have a theoretical firepower of 52 and a speed of 107. Well, what does he mean by theoretical? 
Gosh, that just sounds ominous. Well, let me show you. So each one of these, according to the rating of the 52 firepower, each one of these is dishing out uh, six damage, right? So let's pull out our calculator. So let's just count that out. Six times six is 36, right? Well, if you're inside that 280 meter to 60 meter range, each one of these is deli delivering out eight damage. So that's eight times six. That's 48 right there. So I spend most of my time attacking targets within closer ranges inside of that 280 meter range. That's what I focus on. And then I've got also <clears throat> two SRM4s which deliver eight damage. So that's 16 on top of that. So that 52 damage is actually 64 damage. And that's why I have such amazing matches in this in this mech. So what are we getting for it for survivability? Well, center torso, not a lot. Plus 9. Left and right torso, plus 7. Left and right arms, plus 10, which is really nice. And then left and right legs, plus 7. Overheat damage, minus 15%. And if you were to put a NARC beacon tag on here, uh, you get plus 15, so it stays on there a little bit longer, it looks like, duration. But I'm not running tag. <clears throat> In fact, I don't even need it. Or I mean NARC. I'm not running NARC. NARC the problem with NARC is, is NARC weighs too much. Um, I would I would have to sacrifice uh, ammo and or weapons because NARC weighs two tons, which doesn't make any sense, but it's what it is. Um, because an ATM-3 only weighs one and a half tons, and it actually does damage. It actually carries a weapon on or a missile on board, three missiles to be exact, that do damage. Uh, so you would think that something that only has one missile port would weigh significantly less. So as an example, even if you look at the SRM-2, which only fires two weapons, uh, this only weighs half a ton. So if you times that by two, you would think that an, a NARC should only weigh one ton at the maximum. So that's kind of weird. Then the other thing is, is when you go to the ammo. The ammo, uh, you don't get very many of them for the amount of tonnage you put on. So you get like 105 shots for one ton, unskilled, like this. And then for these, you get 120. So let's just play devil's advocate for a moment here. So I remove these, throw on an arc, because that's pretty much what I'd have to do. And then I'd have to put ammo on board for it. So a ton of ammo, one ton, only gives you 13 shots. Half a ton gives you six shots see that's where I feel like the uh, narc was uh, designed wrong it shouldn't weigh as much as it does because it doesn't have guiding guidance I think you should be able to lock a target fire the narc and it hits the target and then it holds for such a period of time a lock now I understand that maybe it weighs more because it's got an onboard computer that's in the NARC system that helps hold a, a, a lock. But it's a beacon you're firing, and it's uh, tra transmitting for everybody, the other team. So the beacon itself is actually tied into the um, projectile, not the weapon. That's why I, I just don't typically run NARC very often, because it just uh, doesn't make sense... Um, by weight so anyway so yeah this one has a firepower of 64 in that uh, 80 meter to 280 meter now you're, you're thinking oh well you know if you look at this these have a maximum optimum range unskilled of 270 so these two weapon systems complement each other very well because if I'm in range for the SRMs I'm definitely in range for the ATMs um, to some degree. Now, skilled, these have a, a much better range inside their bubble of maximum damage. They go all the way up to 310, 
which these will, which the ATMs will not do. But the ATMs will still deliver seven damage, even at three ten. So there's still uh, quite a bit of damage that's being done, and it's still one damage more <clears throat> than the original. Now the advantage that the ATMs have is that they have a much much larger range, uh, which works out at twelve hundred and sixty five meters um, at six damage. So even if I'm at a large distance away, and the fact that I can fire these things so quickly makes a huge difference. Now, because I can fire these in the way that I do, where I, I uh, um, cycle them, chain fire them, I don't typically run cooldown on them because I'm trying to manage my heat in a, in a more perspective or predictable way. So that's how I run this guy here is with these. Go to the skill tree. I didn't add, I tried once adding two on here and then I figured out that I'd have to add at least six for it to make any difference. And then that's six that I have to take away from everything else. So I went with full heat generation, range, velocity, missile features, uh, skeletal density, armor hardening, nothing here. I'm not worried about going into overheat because I manage my heat really well, even in override. Cool down um, or cool run, heat containment. Definitely seismic sensor. Absolutely. I like to know where other mechs are in relation to me because I like to sneak up on mechs. Uh, radar deprivation. Absolutely a must. Advanced zoom because it is an ATM build. And uh, two cool shots and a UAV. Yeah, so this makes this thing a really formidable weapon and I call this the ex-wife. <laughs>